Welcome to this demonstration of the RF Bitbanger early prototype. I'll start by turning it on. It's drawing about 90 milliamps in idle mode and displaying its default wake-up screen which is a frequency at 13.56 megahertz. Normally I'd use the buttons here on the board. You can see them here just above the display. Or I can plug in a PS2 keyboard and use that, which is more convenient, especially for filming. So I'm going to use the keyboard from now on. And I'm going to cursor over to the frequency digits that I want to change and use up and down arrows to change them. I'm going to go to a frequency in the 10 meter band. That's my happy frequency there. I hit enter. And now I'm on that frequency. If I want to transmit, I can go into this transmit mode, hit enter. It's warning me I need to change the band module because I've changed bands. I'll accept that. And now I'll type a test message. Put my call sign in there for good measure in case it leaks out of my dummy load. And I'll hit enter. Having hit enter, I'll return there is a little menu of different things that it can mean. I can clear the transmit buffer. I can just quit out of this menu. I can go ahead and transmit or I can return to editing. So there I'm back in the editor. I can move around and change what I wanted to transmit if I so desire. But what I really want to do is transmit and I want to see it happen over the air. So let's turn on a receiver. Here we are looking at a flex radio 6600 M as it happens tuned to that same frequency. I put a 60 dB attenuator between the receiver and the, the RF bit banger so as to be able to transmit safely directly into the radio. Let's bring back the display up in the right hand corner so I can see what's on the display while I do this demonstration. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit enter again. Cursor up once to transmit and hit transmit. You can see that it transmits what I said to transmit, and the cursor follows along so you can see where it is in the transmission. The spectrum, you can see, is not completely perfect. It's got a nice big peak right on frequency, but there are some other lumps. You know, maybe some room for improvement there. CW is not the only mode it can transmit, of course. Let's try a different mode. If I scroll up through this menu, to the TRM or transmit mode menu. It's alright set to CW right now. The next choice is RTTY. Let's try that. Set the mode and go back down to transmit. Same message is still there. I'll go ahead and accept it. And let's transmit some RTTY. That works pretty good. Okay, what other modes have we got? Go back up to the mode menu. Here's a, a brand new mode called Scamp, uh, which can do FSK or on off keying, depending on what you want. This is FSK mode and with the default settings, so let's listen to that. Set the mode, back to the transmit mode, same old message. And here we go. Now you'll notice it's way down at the bottom, so I'm going to tune up so I can hear it. Okay. That's got a lot of FSK, or excuse me, a lot of FEC on top of the 
transmission, so it should be more robust, more reliable to, to listen to. I'm going to tune up a little bit so that it's not quite so shrill next time we listen to it. And go back to the mode menu and try the same thing in OOK mode, on off keyed. So it's sort of like CW, like Morse code, but with a different code so it's more robust. So here we go. Also, uh, try the same two modes in fast and slow. So here we are in FSK fast mode. Let's try that. Whoops. That's quite a bit quicker. Here it's FSK slow mode. Yeah, that's quite a bit slower, isn't it? Let's see what other modes we can try here. Here's the on-off key mode in slow. This is going to be even slower. Okay, that was slow enough. And that's the last mode. Let's go back to CW for a moment. And let's think about receiving. I've got the flex radio set to transmit into a dummy load. So we'll get leakage into the into the RF bit banger, and I'm gonna set it, set the flex radio into CW mode, and we need to be up here, An offset of 750 hertz. And now if I transmit on the flex radio, 
the RF bit banger should copy it, and you should see it on the display there. go. A little bit of decoding delay there because of the way it's doing the decoding. Remember all the processing is being done on a little bitty at Mega, the same processor as in an Arduino Uno. Not very much processing horsepower. While I'm in the receive mode I can scroll back in case I missed what I saw and see the whole message. There's some gibberish that was before I started transmitting and then there's the message that I transmitted. Cool. So we've got transmitting and receiving. We can choose any frequency anywhere in HF band down to 1 hertz resolution using a synthesizer. Optionally we can use a crystal and uh, choose one frequency, but the synthesizer is relatively inexpensive and um, much more convenient. And the SCAMP mode with its FEC capabilities should be quite robust compared to simple CW or RTTY. So that's where our RF Bitbanger is at today. Tune in later for more developments.